and welcome. All right, so uh, this uh, next video is on um, bone marrow qigong. The preliminary exercise for bone marrow qigong is to have worked on the building of the wall, where you focus the will on the breath, breath on the stretch, and concentrate on the space outside your body until the fluid builds up. And once you have that fluidic feeling, you pay attention to that fluidic feeling and become aware of the essence field underlying the feeling. Then you pore breathe that essence field in and out through the pores. And this is pore breathing. This is a prerequisite exercise for bone marrow qigong. For the bone marrow qigong, we want to breathe that essence in and out of the bones and accumulate it in the bones. Now, there's a few rules for doing this. If you're going to accumulate and store energy anywhere in your body, there's a high chance you're going to overheat. So you only do this before training. So you charge the body up, and then you train, and it discharges the energy in the training. It metabolizes it and gives it a purpose or a function based on the type of training you do. The second method is that you put the information in with the energy so it has purpose, so that it starts fulfilling its purpose and you don't overheat. Either way works really well. Doing the method where you charge up the marrow with energy before you train, and then you train to metabolize it, gives it the purpose of the nature of the training that you're doing and makes you powerful in that particular form of expression. So you'll find that um, uh, by uh, using that approach, it becomes uh, a fuel to power up any internal mechanism, any internal system that you're doing. All right, so let's, let's work on that method first. You've done the vital breathing, building the ball. You've filled your body with energy. And uh, now we're going to breathe into the bones. So breathe the, the vital essence in and suck it directly into the bone. So you put your tension on the bone on the in-breath, draw it in, and then breathe it out through the bone. So you're breathing into the bone and out of the bone. Breathe in through the pores into the bones. and from the bones out through the pores. So this form of bone marrow breathing, it washes the marrow. As you breathe out, you release all the layers of tension between the bone and the skin. Okay, so work that exercise for a few minutes. From there, we breathe into the bone, but instead of letting the energy uh, move back out again, we press it into the bone. And we open the joints ever so gently in an electric way, and then we condense that power and that heat in the bone on the out-breath. So the in-breath, we breathe directly into the bone, and the out-breath, condense in the bone. Good and then continue that for a few minutes. The next method, we breathe into the balloon, inflate the body like a balloon, inflate, and then breathe out and condense into the bone. Breathe into the balloon, condense into the bone. The difference between breathing directly into the bone and then condensing into the bone and breathing into the, into the field and then condensing in the bone, you have equalization time. So if you're taking a particular idea, happiness, wealth, success, whatever it might be, and you breathe it into the field, your body starts to metabolize and equalize with that idea so that when you condense it into the bone, the inside and the outside have a similar synchronicity. There's you become synchronized. When you breathe something directly into the bone, you put a lot of power in a small space and the power isn't synchronized outside the space. And there's advantages and disadvantages to both methods. Okay, so uh, this uh, bone marrow breathing, as you breathe in and out of the bones, the first exercise, we can use it for releasing uh, tension, releasing toxins, releasing uh, any buildups of energy anywhere in the body and to, to wash the marrow. And there's a muscle and tendon change which takes place where you increase the feeling quality of floating the bones. Now, floating the bones 
is basically a method of releasing all the tendon ligament fascia connections to the bone that hold tension and get the bone to float in the fluid so that your body is very, very relaxed, that your muscle tendon bone relationship doesn't have tension, that's very fluidic. This fluidic quality is very good for internal arts like Tai Chi, it's very good for healing, it's very good for whenever you need a high degree of conductivity without tension. Uh, so astral type Chi work works much more efficiently through a person who's trained floating the bones on a, on a very deep level. Now, charging information into the bone marrow, we have four elements, fire, air, water, and earth, and each one has a different mechanical framework. The fire, which we just did for the electromagnetic charge, where we expand the joint slightly, gently, softly squeezing the bone and condensing the energy in, is towards the electric phase. So if we're using the electric and we press, we want to have electric ideas. So whenever you're building things like power, when you're building things like increasing your concentration and increasing your will, increasing your leadership abilities, increasing your ability to break through boundaries, to push yourself further, to run further, to lift more weight, to perform better, anything that requires willpower and expansion of consciousness to, to, in, to destroy the barriers that are stopping you from achieving what you want to achieve, and which is usually within your self-image, you use willpower to do so, you use a fire element to do so. So the mechanic you're going to use is pressing the joints open, squeezing the bones in an electric way. If you're using aspects of, of love, nurturing, uh, if you're holding the baby qigong, where you, on the full moon you connect your third eye to the, to the moon and you take on the frequency of holding a baby and you nurture your astral body and you love your own memories of your childhood and you work from the moment of uh, self-awareness to the present moment, working cultivating love and releasing anything that's not composed of love, these types of feelings of protectiveness of holding the baby, of nurturing, of caring, of oneness and giving your best, you give to your own astral nature, you would put these types of information into your bone marrow using the soft pulling of your joints open as if you're holding a baby. So then you do the repeat the exercise, you pull the joints open, draw the vital energy in a magnetic phase and you bring the information of love into your, into your marrow and then very gently pull the joints open and squeeze as you breathe out and condense that information with the, with the life force in its magnetic phase. For air element, as if you're getting out of a chair, everything stretches up, make the body light. You breathe into the marrow. You may want to speed up your thinking processes. You may want to be ahead of the curve on the group consciousness. You may want to be on the leading edge of evolution to be able to feel and see and lead the next step of evolution within yourself or within a group or within the planet whatever that might be. You might want to write a book about the next step of evolution within fashion, within uh, personal development, within sports performance and training, whatever your area is. If you want to be ahead of the curve, you want to use the air element. So you breathe the air element with this frequency of uh, being, a, being on the leading edge of evolution. And then as you breathe out, you lift condense into the, into the bones and lift your energy up with a very gentle feeling of rising. And what this has is a feeling of openness in the space, a feeling of upliftment, and it speeds up the frequency of the mind. It allows the mind to function outside of the box because of the amount of openness of space that the air element has. You might use a sky blue color when you do this and ensure that the, the, uh, the ideas and information using with the air element are about communication, they will relate to speed of thinking, intelligence, creativity, music, arts. These types of uh, out of the box type thinking processes or high levels of intelligence and creativity. When, when geniuses have ingenious ideas, they're in the frequency of the air element. They're outside the box. They're in the sphere, in the open mind. Okay, so the air element, you have everything stretching upwards, your fascia stretching up like you're about to get out of a chair and, and sit upwards in your, in your stretch. Then you condense those ideas of your choice into the bone marrow. As your body uses that, that vital energy that you've put in with that information from the marrow, it will feed the unconscious mind to increase that information in your evolution and growth. So it becomes a part of your subconscious blueprint of your mind. 
With the Earth element, we're looking at gravity, groundedness, consistency, and patterns, the ability to get things done. You're a finisher. If you start something, you finish it. You have a predictability within your patterns of, yes, if I start this, I can follow the pattern to get that. So anything where you're finishing a plan is an aspect of Earth element. Quietude is an aspect of Earth element. Equanimity, stillness, is an aspect of Earth element. Earth element is balancing out everything in your body, finding center, and going into peak performance of harmonious achievement. The feeling of Earth element is gravity. So you draw the life force in, and then you sink, you hang the muscles, and as you hang the muscles and let gravity act down on your body, there's a pulling on the bones. The muscles pull on the bones. So we relax, hang everything down, and we allow that hanging to draw down on the bones and create this condensing of the energy into the bone as you sink it into the bone. So it's an inward and downward direction. All right, so this is a bit of an introduction into bone marrow qigong. It is the basic exercises of hermetics. It's one of the first things my hermetics teacher taught me. It's also found in many qigong systems. Uh, it's it's uh, embedded into the fabric of, of Taoist qigong. So there's a lot of systems that practice it. But fundamentally, it's the same central idea where they've broken it down to fit different views or different methods of development. Okay, so I'll do a whole series of this on the Vimeo channel. And uh, for those of you on the Vimeo channel, uh, keep an eye out. It'll, they'll be coming up over the next few weeks. And um, there was about 20 videos for me to cover all the theory that needs to be done on, on bone marrow qigong. Okay, thank you for your time, and uh, see you on the next video.